to generate machining data automatically click on preferences select manufacturing then select operation scroll down and tick here machining data automatically set in operation click on ok then click on this create operation create operation then select mill control then from here select cavity mill cavity mill is useful for roughening or to remove large quantity of material scroll down here it has automatically selected program 1 2 3 4 that was created by nx then tool also has been selected then for geometry actually we will need workpiece click here and select this workpiece so our workpiece is the raw material then for method select here mill rub it is our stock value is defined in this method in this way it has selected all the parameters that we have defined in the previous steps then you can give any specific name if you require i will keep the cavity mill as it is then click on ok here if required you can create new workpiece also or you can edit the existing workpiece by clicking on this and you can make the changes or you can watch the part by clicking on this button here is the final finish part then this is the blank and we are not defined this parameter right now then tool has been selected if you want to create new tool you can click here or if you want to make any changes to the tool you can click here then tool axis has been selected as vertical plus zm axis then in the path setting this is the method we have selected mill rough if you want to create new method you can create from here or you can edit the existing method then in cut pattern we will keep this follow part as it is there are different patterns right now we will use this only follow part so as per the shape of the part it will generate the pattern then for step over we will keep this constant you can also define step over in relation to percentage tool flat or using scale up also we will see this concept later on and step over is defined at 7.19 it has been defined automatically by nx and the unit is mm this step over should be around 60 to 80 percent of your tool size or it should be lesser than the tool size step over is basically the gap between two cuts suppose i have taken one cut then other cut will be taken by shifting the tool by the step over distance and then second cut will be taken so that gap is this step over then common depth per cut that we are using as a constant we can also use it as a scallop what is that we will see it later and distance has been given as a 5.14 Actually this step over and this depth per cut is a practical data which you should set as per your experience. This data depends on the tool, tool material, then what material you are cutting. This data needs to be set as per your experience and actually this 5 value is very high. We will set it to 1 but 1 is also high so you should not set this value directly as it is this value should be chosen as per your experience then we can check the cut levels so for 1 mm it will create the cut levels click on this cut level and here software has created cut levels at the gap of 1 mm and this is a depth of cut of 1 mm you can change the different parameters right now we will keep all the parameter as default click on ok then next is cutting parameters click here you can choose from here whether you want conventional cut or climb cut 
all these parameters we will see in detail later on and from here you can change the stock if you want it will override the stock that we defined in the machining method so all these different parameters you can change from here we will accept all the default parameters as it is click on ok then from here you can define the non cutting moves so you can change them what is engaged grid track and all those this also we will see in detail in the coming lectures you will cancel this then from here you can define feeds and speeds click here now here nx has calculated the data automatically based on material and tool here you can define the surface speed surface meter per minute and then feed per tooth you will have to define here then spindle speed in rpm then feed rate and if we click on this more here you can define the feed rate for engage right now it has been defined in the form of percentage of cut value that means it is a 60% of your this cut value so all this you can define engage first cut stay for and retract then click on ok then to generate the toolpath click on generate here just we will zoom fit and select isometric ok then click on generate here the toolpath has been created scroll down then you can verify the toolpath from here click on verify then click here on all and select current level so it will show only the current level so this is a top cut now this cyan color is actually the cutting moves that means material will be cut during this moves this green is the step over so this gap between two moves is the step over then we want to pause at each level click here then scroll down and click on play so it will show how it will cut the material you can reduce the speed from here and again click on play so it is showing the second step third step there will be five moves because we have taken extra material by 5 mm and each depth cut is so you just take it next from here you can go step by step also by clicking on this next button how exactly it is doing you can watch it step by step and from here you can move to next operation and you can watch in every operation how it is cutting and by clicking on this play button you can watch individually how it is cutting so here toolpath is generated as per the shape of the part same way if you want to watch it in graphics click on this 2d dynamic and click on this play so it will show you the material cutting how it is cutting the material will increase the speed from here you can stop it and increase the speed and play so it will do it faster so this cut is depth of cut okay we will stop here so in this way you can verify the tool path click on ok then if you want to watch the generated toolpath then click on this list here so here is the list of the toolpath then close it click on ok here this toolpath is added to this mill drop method same way if you check this geometry view it is added to this workpiece and same way in machine tool view it is added to this tool and in program order view here is the cavity mill that we have created then select this cavity mill 
here it will show you the tool path so these red are actually the rapid moves this cyan color is cutting moves then next will be to create a output program for that at first select the program and then click on post process then click ok here then select the type of machine suppose i will create it for three axis milling machine then give the name to the file the extension and click on ok so it will generate output program here is the output program generated for vmc then you can save this program by clicking on this file and save as and you can give the design name and extension close it then to create the documentation click on this shop documentation at first select the program then click on shop documentation and you can create four types of documents i will choose this operation list select html excel then give the name to the file and click on ok give it some time to generate document is created here is the name of the operation type program name then tool name and path image by clicking on this it will enlarge the part image click on back to go back close it right now we will stop here in the next program we will learn how to create this corner rough and wrist milling and we will also learn how to create finishing strategies so that's all thanks for watching we will stop here